Well, uh, today I uh, went to the doctor and my clutch had always been a little off on my truck. So I'm finally able to um, get in here and see if I can't fix what the problem is. First part is finding out what the problem is. I'm bleeding all over the place here. But if you will look at that bushing right there, when I go to push the clutch, it moves side to side. And the other side does the same thing. So when I do that, it causes my brake pedal to move forward, so it shifts on me. So now, what we're going to have to do is, I'm going to take this loose, the linkage for the steering column, take this bolt out and drop this down, take this bracket loose and the uh, brake rod take that loose and the brake switches and stuff like that and we'll see if we can't get this out and take it in the shop and see if we can't rebush that i got some uh, bronze bushing that i can possibly make those bushings out of so stay tuned all right now that we're uh got this thing out that bushing there is bad. So, we're going to see if we can't replace that bushing. I don't know if making it bronze. How about taking some of this bronze and make that bushing exactly like that one. That will protrude into the section here I don't see any reason why it shouldn't work so we'll go ahead and start taking this thing apart see what what damage we got all right we got it apart and the good news is the shaft hasn't been wore yet it wasn't that close but it sure is dirty and Needs to be greased up. This bushing here was the bushing that was bad. It's almost through. So it was at the point where it was it was going to start hitting the shaft. So now the Atten's uh chewed up too. So I'm gonna see if I can't turn one that is brass. Because I have one here that close enough that I can get hmm, I don't know the only problem is this has got a notch on one side like a keyway to keep that from spinning. So I'm wondering if it'd be a possibility that I could take, I can do it on this side, I can make a brass bushing and then put a screw in it. Keep it from turning. But that's just an idea. Now my thumb's starting to swell up where I pinched my thumb. That going. Well, that going shame I didn't have any PVC pipe that was big enough to use on that. As you can see, it's got a notch in it. And that goes into that notch. 
of course not that one but this one I don't think it really matters whether it turns or not. Yeah, I don't understand why they make stuff so cheesy like that. No, daggone well that wasn't going to hold up. What is wrong with people using plastic for every freaking thing? Why can't they use brass or bronze? Alright, well I'm going to take you off camera until I figure out what I'm going to do here. All right, now what we've decided to do here is we're going to make this without the knots. And basically what this does, these two pieces here are just fine. There's no damage on these. They just slide in there. They've got a split in them. They just slide in there. And then this goes in this side and slides into that. So what I'm going to do then I'm going to make a piece just like this, and I've already got the lathe set up, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the outer edge of this lip that goes on the outside of this a lot bigger so that when I put it in there, I can just take and put a little screw right here in the side of it just to keep it from turning. That will act the same as this knot. So we don't really need the notch in there. Uh, so we're just going to turn it just like that, except we're going to make this part thicker because I'm a, I'm allowed 2.50 millimeters, well two and a half, two and a half millimeters, and um, then we're going to make that a lot bigger. And then once we've got it in there then it'll be out here then all i got to do is just drill a hole in here and then once i've got this attached then i can just shave off anything here that might be over I'm, i may not have to make it that big but um i'm going to just to have enough to put there because nothing swings over in here so it should be okay to put a screw in there um, make sure I'm right about that because that screw might be uh, in the way yeah that screw is going to be in the way doing it well you know what I'm just going to leave it so that it ain't so it spins. Uh, this side ain't that big a deal. This is the side that gets the worst punishment because they put this sleeve in there, big steel sleeve that's flattened. So I'm pretty sure that bronze bushing will work okay without the notch. Uh, this side, however, we'll just do the same thing on this side as we did on this side. This one's a little different. I'll just make that piece and just make it so it goes in there and don't have to worry about the notch. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get started turning this. Now we've got Now this we're going to remake. These things are a little difficult to put back together. And we don't put that in to last. Now this thing here has got a little slot on one side that's open. It's got to go down. So we put that in. And we'll put 
that in. No more play. So that's going to work. Now we just need to make one for this side. So let's get to it. is done now we get to put it together so uh, let's see how we want to do this Gonna grease this thing up good. This clutch ought to work pretty good. did I made a bushing to replace this one with a longer flat area on it and that'll go in there just like that on this side and then I made this one to look like that one the only thing minus from it is that little tip right there on the end that goes in there to keep it from spinning but I don't think that's going to make that big of a difference so now We'll go ahead and put this in. hope it goes together okay and you know when I pulled this apart I didn't see a little, little bit of grease in it not even a, a hint of grease which I think is a little messed up but I can't blame Ford for that because this truck's been pulled apart a few times Let's see if this thing is going to go together. Alright, there's that. Find me a rag here somewhere. Getting old junky one. Alright, then clutch pedal. Goes right here just like that.
my 18 millimeter wrench. See how it works. And it works fine. This works smoothly. There's no play in it. I think that'll work, man. So now I gotta figure out how to get this spring in there without hurting myself. Cause I hate these springs. These things here will hurt you. Alright. Now we've got the clutch working right. I think we're ready to put this bad boy back in. And there you have it. Bison built bushing system. It works really good. You got your spring. This here works nice. And you have no play in it. Nowhere. Now all I gotta do is put it back in. And um, then we'll uh, see about finding a new project. Now I'm working on one. I'm trying to make a deal with a guy for a, um, let me uh, pull this up here a little bit. Turn it around. Uh, I've got a deal I'm trying to make with a guy who's got a, um, one of them little uh, atlas lathes, I think it's a 101, uh, I'm not sure, uh, it's probably one of them little ones about that big, like uh, Jaster 1969 has, or 63, or I can't remember what it is, but I'll put it down here. Um, it needs some gears, it uh, needs a motor, it uh, needs a belt, but the main reason I'm getting it is, there's two reasons. One, I need a project so that I can uh, show some work on some restore on a uh, lathe. And um, I need, I'd like to have a second lathe. So the second lathe will go back here. And i got to get all this wood out of here. But uh, once I get a little building out back, uh, store all my wood in, I'll have more room to put tools and be a little more um, spacious. Uh, thinking about trading the um, AMT drill press, the 360 drill press that I just got not long ago, um, trying to make a deal with it, so cross your fingers. But anyway, this video is getting a little long, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this. Y'all don't need to see it going back in there. Um, it's going to be a pain in the butt because I don't have no help. So um, you guys have a good one. Later.